And of course, the PLUS Alliance brings together the University of New South Wales, Sydney, King's College, London, Arizona State University. What do universities need to do more of? And, and to what extent in your field is it becoming something that can be developed across disciplines to a greater extent? I think this is one of the exciting things in terms of the cross-disciplinary nature of it, is that in, I think just even in the last five, five years, we've made huge inroads into that um, sort of uh, approach of not remaining in our silos. And it's actually been quite constructive that things like the funding agencies, for example, are recognising this and they're actively promoting that if you're going to take, for example, a public health approach, you know, you've got to get outside your silo. I mean, we have to be working with health uh, economists. We have to be working with political scientists. You know, we have to be working with um, people into computational modelling. Now, I know nothing about these areas and I don't want to because I know that at this stage, I can't master those things. So it's, you've really got to uh, collaborate with people who are experts in this area and we've got to maximise our independent knowledge so we can work together and present a argument to governments um, that is acceptable and digestible. And I think this is something universities need to learn more of is that governments are in a tough position and we can't just sort of put these grand um, blue sky ideas to them and say, achieve this. They also have budgetary constraints. They've got logistical constraints. And we need to be smart about how we um, recommend solutions. And governments, in a sense, do want solutions, but they want solutions that are cost effective and that they're sustainable. And we need to think about how do we deliver what we're trying to deliver because we're not going to get sustainable change at a government level unless we can actually have the proof and have the, you know, the evidence with, with cost effectiveness and health systems and economic modelling data that actually says, look, these policies or these initiatives can actually work and they can actually not just work, but they can actually fit into your budgetary plans and even save you. And there is very good data telling us that a lot of the programs that if we invest just a you know, this amount of money, governments can save a lot more. And you've cut to the heart of the PLUS Alliance as well, you know, trying to do or to tackle some of the world's most pressing challenges across using the resources of three universities, not one. And of course, not just in, in, in single disciplinary fields, but across disciplines and creatively and not in novel ways. 